music is really important in the books. Whether you, un you know the music, know the artists that somebody will listen to or, or not, I, I think it, it, it adds to the immediacy of character. It says something about who Harry Bosch is, for example, by the choices of, of who, he, who he listens to. And, and even though, as I say, no one can hear this music when they read my book, um, I put a lot of work into it. I, I, a lot of thought, I should say, not work. Um, and, you know, uh, jazz says something about Harry. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a lonely music. It, it takes a skill to understand it and to really be uplifted by it. And, and Harry has that. And I think that carries into his work. Uh, the other thing is Harry has, a has had a struggle in his life. He's overcome things. And so by design, the musicians that he listens to have had similar experience. They, they had to work hard and, and overcome severe obstacles um, to make their music. And Harry's had to overcome stuff to make his music. And there's a connection there. And, you know, reading a book is a much shorter, obviously, obviously a much shorter experience than writing it. And I have to employ all these things to make sure I'm plugged in, I'm loving what I'm doing, I have momentum, and music is one of them. And if you're reading something that mentions music in one of my books, and that music was playing when I wrote those words, because I play music when I'm writing a lot of the time, especially jazz, especially when I'm writing about Harry Bosch, and it helps me. Uh, you know, the uh, Minneapolis' own Frank Morgan, um, born here, Harry Bosch's favorite musician, and his life speaks to Harry's life in some, in some weird way. And I like the idea that Harry would have seen that musician play in real life because he played in Los Angeles all the time. I saw him many times in Los Angeles. And uh, that, that is a cool connection.